Only a tiny fraction of women truly grasp what moves a man to choose her wholeheartedly and soulfully. Why? Because as a society, we tend to trivialize and downplay men's desires for intimacy as either mostly sexual or plain and basic. So today, I want to share with you seven deep, non-sexual desires men rarely, if ever, will share with you so you can develop an edge in your ability to attract the kind of guy and relationship you want. What I'm about to share with you is going to act for you as a powerful double-edged sword. On one side, you'll be able to not have to lead with sex with a physical route when you connect with men because you understand deep down that there's other needs they have that are not sexual in nature that you can go deeper into and fulfill and create more intimacy of all levels. The other side of the spectrum, when you understand that guys need this, but based on their consciousness level, they need more or less resistance to go in this depth, then if guys don't want to step up to the plate or they only want to lead with sex, then you can disqualify them and move on and connect with somebody else. Now, lots of guys are going to have sexual needs, obviously, but the reason why I'm sharing other needs that have nothing to do with sex is because some guys have only learned to express themselves in the physical front through sex. They haven't learned yet that there's other ways of expressing their feelings, their thoughts, their emotions that are safe. Much like a soccer match or a football match where guys can shout and cry and hug each other, but outside in the real world, they don't do it. That doesn't mean they don't have the need. It just means that they've only allowed themselves to express this type of emotion or depth or intensity under certain settings. So the consciousness level of the man in question, the guy you're connecting with, the guy you're interested in matters. Why? The more conscious the guy is, the more he's going to be aware of these needs, even peripherally or at a basic level, the less conscious he is, the more resistant he will be, even though he has the needs to go this route. The first need men need, but rarely if ever will share with you is emotional intimacy. Why? Because it's scary. Why? Because they haven't been taught a way. Well, most men are socialized in such a way that emotions are scary things for girls or women we don't get to express them. Now, obviously, as I shared earlier, if the guy's more conscious, he's going to be more versed in expressing emotions, but whether he's versed or not, he still needs it. What am I talking about in emotional intimacy? He's going to need for someone, in this case, the partner, to understand his hopes, his dreams, his fears, his needs. When someone takes the time to go the distance through connection, through conscious conversations, through communication, to understand where somebody's standing, in this case, this guy, that type of depth is something he craves, but rarely if ever gets, even with his best friends. Second type of need that desire that men have, but rarely if ever will share with you. Sometimes they just have the need, but they don't know how to express it. Is actionable communication from their woman. What does this mean? I'm going to make it as simple as possible. The shorter, the better. The less circles and twists and turns and high mystery in the expression, the better, the clearer, the more specific, the better. Why? Because guys are typically going to want to understand the purpose behind what's going on. So that means that if the purpose of your communication is to have somebody hold emotional space for you, clearly ask for that. Don't imagine that you can go into the clear expression of who you are in a way that really doesn't lead to anywhere, but it's simply just self-expression. Because the guy's going to be thinking behind it. Why is she sharing this with me? What do I need to do? Does she want my help? So if you can diffuse his going into soap operas in his mind by clearly stating right now, here's what this conversation would feel great to me for. Or here's what I need from you out of this conversation. And you say, oh, right now I want 10 minutes of venting. Great. Now he knows that will be strong for you. Right now I need to brainstorm ideas with you. Will you please share your viewpoint when I'm done? Great. Right now, I don't need you to share any ideas on how to fix something. All I need from you is to fill in the blank. Whatever it is that you need, he needs to understand. Actual communication also means that you're able to express why you want something, that you're able to express sometimes the feelings around something that's taking place. So imagine that he says something to you and it hurts you and you are deeply hurt, but you act pissed. He doesn't necessarily understand what to do with it. And men tend to react aggressively to pissed offness. So he might want to be defensive with you, not even understanding why. But if you take the time to go to the deeper level of emotion 
and express a little something like this, what's going on with me. And when you express your feelings, also express them with truth. If you're sad, then express sadness. Then he gets a chance to understand what he can do about it. He gets a punch in the heart that he needs to, to wake up to a new reality. And then if you can even shorten it by saying, here's what I love going forward. Here's what you can do for me. Here's how we can make this better. Something clear and specific. That is actual communication. The more you do it this way, the more the guy you're with is going to be thankful and excited to connect with you because most women don't communicate this way with men. Most women communicate in the exact same way they communicate with their girlfriends, which makes it troublesome and exasperating for more guys. Number three thing he needs, but will rarely if ever share with you is genuine admiration. Now, I've shared this in other videos. Obviously, for you to admire a guy, he needs to be admirable. He needs to be the type of guy who, who really has something going for himself. So I'm not asking you to make things up so that he feels better about himself. And I'm not saying that you don't need admiration. I'm saying that guys typically have learned that this is something that, whether it's conscious or subconscious, they need in a relationship, especially from their woman. So in clear terms, why are you choosing him above all other men? What is he doing that is better, different, more you, more feeling of your needs that other guys can do. How is he adding value to your life? Is there anything you admire about him? Now, most women who feel admiration for their guy don't necessarily share it with them because they're afraid that he's going to maybe think too much of himself or maybe that puts him in a vulnerable situation. But the clearer you are about your guy, if you really admire him in verbally expressing it to him, the more you might see him stepping up in the ways and the identity that you've set for him when you express said admiration. The fourth thing men need will rarely express is your spark of aliveness. Sometimes guys think that the only way they get that is through sex, but if you're someone who is fully alive, fully connected to her life force, fully connected to her meaning and purpose, and you're doing things for yourself, self-care, self-love, connection with friends, things that really make you shine without having to try so hard, that type of connection from a woman, that type of spark and aliveness is something he doesn't necessarily get on his own. You can have a guy who's intelligent and exercises and has great friendships and the experience viscerally he gets when he connects with his woman who is full of life is unlike anything else he can experience on his own, something that is incredibly giving and nurturing and allows him to do more for her than she could ever imagine. Now, before I share my last three desires and needs that are really important for you to grasp, if you're a single woman watching this, I'd be willing to bet you're not fully aware of the true reason you're still single. So what I've done is I've taken 13 years of helping and guiding women in every continent, every walk of life, every kind of love challenge you can imagine to actually attract the kind of relationship that stands the test of time. And I put together a quiz, you can take in about 60 seconds, that will reveal to you the answer to the elusive question, why are you still single? So if you want to participate, all you have to do is go to the first link in the description and you'll see a page that looks like this. Answer a few simple questions. And besides receiving the answer to the question, we're still single, you'll also get a custom report. It's going to share with you based on your specific blind spot. What is the number one thing you can do starting today to attract the guy you want in a fraction of the time? The fake desire a guy has without even knowing it sometimes is your truest emotion. And your truest emotion means raw vulnerability. I alluded it a little bit at the beginning of this video. That means that when you are feeling something, ask yourself, go as deep as you can as to what emotion that really is and express to him what the truest emotion you really feel instead of the surface level emotion. Why? Because the more real and the more raw and the more vulnerable you are with them, the more if he is the type of guy who can step up to the plate, he will. If he gets a chance to understand what's really taking place inside of you, he has a path towards serving you. He has a path towards helping secure, make life better, protect in any way that you might need emotionally or otherwise. If he doesn't feel that, if he doesn't feel the truth of what's happening inside of you, the part of him that can get activated to go above and beyond thoughtful process, above and beyond the mediocre minimum, will not be activated. Sixth need that men have, but probably never will share with you is they need to hear the word no from you. They need to have the experience of no with kindness and with grace, right? That means no thanks, here's what I need going forward. That means strong boundaries that are expressed 
with uh, reasoning behind the boundaries. Here's why I can do it this way. And here's what I need to move going forward. Here's what would work for me, not why you're doing it wrong. Here's what I, as a human being, as a woman need to be able to feel safe in having sex with you. Here's what I need to be able to go on dates and not feel like things are scary for me. Whatever it is that you need to have the capacity to express to him yes or no, that adds value to you. If a guy is looking for someone he can manipulate and maneuver and control, he's going to self-disqualify you incredibly quickly. If you're graceful in your expression of no, the man is going to value you more, understand that you're someone who loves herself, and as a result of being with you, he is more valuable as a man than if he's with someone who has no boundaries or standards. The seventh thing guys need, but rarely if ever will share with you, is time to process truth. The ability to, in the midst of something challenging, in the midst of something that's difficult, give him the space he needs to make up his mind, to create his own decisions, to decipher through the ins and outs of things before he expresses what he's feeling to you. I'm not saying this happens all the time. But sometimes on certain difficult subjects, women tend to, let's say, brainstorm with their girlfriends problems and solutions and without knowing how it's going to work out, verbally processing is something that's very normal and natural to a vast majority of women. Men haven't learned to do that necessarily. And men feel like if they share something and they change their mind the second sentence, they're being consistent and flaky. So guys are probably going to take more time to share what they're going through because they want to be clear and certain about it before they say something they'll regret or say something they'll change their mind on. So if you take that as a hint that he doesn't want to express his truth to you, you'll be mistaken. He might just need a day to think about it and circle back with you. So ask him to circle back instead of pressure him in the middle of a conversation to reveal things he's not fully verbalizing his mind. He might need to journal, talk to friends, meditate, and then come back to you. But sometimes in the midst of a heated conversation, he may not be able to process and express the same way you do with your gals. <laughs> Hope this is helpful and insightful. If it is, it would mean the world to me and to my channel because this is the way I can grow and reach more women and help more women. If you click like and subscribe, if you found this helpful, I know someone who needs it, please send it their way. And if you want to continue learning how you can attract the guy you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, games or stupid techniques, make sure to go to the next video right here.